Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at something incredibly rare. We are looking at the 1983 release by Bandai from their Jerry Anderson series of Terra Hawks action figures and action models. And this particular one we are looking at today is of the Hawkwing as it appeared in the TV serial Terra Hawks. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. And at the top it says Bandai, and you've got the Bandai logo. It says Jerry Anderson and Christopher Burr's Terra Hawks. And down the bottom here you've got the um, Terra Hawks logo. And it says Hawkwing action model. And you've got, I can't remember that figure's name. Um, but, um, but that was a character from the TV series. Okay, so that's the front of the box. What I'd like to do now, before we actually have a good look at the, the item itself, is turn the box around and see what we've got printed on the back. Okay, so I'll turn the box around and this is what we've got printed on the back. So again, you've got the Bandai sign and logo on the top left-hand corner. And it says uh, Space Hawk. And you've got Jerry Anderson and Christopher Burr's Terror Hawks. And to the left, you've got the Terror Hawk, you've got the Battle Hawk, you've got the Hawk Wing, which is what this is, you've got the uh, Tree Hawk, and you've got Xeroid. And down the bottom here, it says manufactured in Hong Kong under license from ABP Limited. And in the bottom uh, right hand corner, it says Bandai UK High Street, Guildford, Surrey. Okay, so that's the back of the box. If I just turn the box to the side. Um, what have we got on the side? So we've just got um, the same thing again, Band-Aid, and there's a good image of the Hawkwing itself. And it says Hawkwing Action Model, there's a Terra Hawks logo, and it says number 0988705. And I think it's the same on the other side. Yep, pretty much exactly the same on the other side. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I think, is I'm gonna open the box and take the model itself out Oh, and I've just remembered her name is Zelda. Okay, so I'm going to open the box, take it out, and have a good look at the model itself. Okay, so I've removed the inner packaging from the box. You can see we've got a polystyrene base here, and we've got the sections of the cork wing. So we've got the lower section. Um, we've then got the now this is the missiles now there was originally one two three four five six missiles um but there's only one left so five have been lost over the period of the last 40 years 41 years there is also a terra hawks um, logo badge um which has got the terra hawks logo in it and on the back side you've got the clip um uh, as it uh, can just flick sort of stick onto your shirt pocket or what have you um, and it's got ASP Limited, 1983, Terra Hawks, Bandai, P-O-P-Y, whatever that stands for. Uh, okay, so that's the uh, badge. And then, of course, you've got the mini section. Okay, so uh, let's um, remove the polystyrene out of the way and assemble the model. Okay, what I didn't look at on the box in actual fact, as I'm just looking at it now, is the bottom of the box, which I just seem to overlook. Um, so you can see on the bottom, it's got the Hawking Action model, and it says missiles can be fired independently. Um, and you've got the missile firing button, and you can see the missile. You've got the um, raising and lowering of the wing tips, we've got here. We've got bomb wing separates from main craft. So that's the main craft, and that's the bomb wing. And it says wings retract into the fuselage. Uh, not suitable for children under four years old. Terry Hawks is registered trademark of Anderson Burr Pictures Limited. 1983 Anderson Burr Pictures Limited. Registered design number 1010984. And on this side, you can see the Hawkwing launches from its hidden base through the water vortex. And there's the image of the water vortex as it appears on the TV screens. Okay, so let's just move everything back a little bit so we've got room and then let's have a good look at the model okay so this is the main body of the hawk queen um so it measures approximately let's have a look 20 centimeters long 
um, by the widest point there is about six centimeters. And if we measure from the uh, top of the wing to the lower section of the base wing, uh, skid, you're looking at seven centimeters. Oops. It is actually made of uh, solid plastic. Um, and that, that, that everything, even though that looks like metal, it is solid plastic. Now there is a button on the um, fuselage there. So if we press that, the wings pop out and they you can push them back into the fuselage. So wings out at the press of a button. Um, and then we have the bomb wings, um, which are a huge. If we actually open them up completely, I think you're looking at over 30, yes you are. So we are looking at um, 30, about 36 centimeters long. Now the widest point is seven centimeters and you're looking at about three centimeters deep from top to bottom. Now, this is where you load your missile into, into the center one, and when you press the button, it's sprung loaded, and when you press a button, the missile fires. I'm not gonna do that because I've only got one missile sitting in there and I don't wanna take it off in case I lose it. Um, but basically it just presses in and you fire. Now, this is, there's sections for four other missiles to sit in there, whether they actually go in or not, I don't I don't think they do. I think that's just a, a looking section. Um, and then you, uh, maybe they, they, they do actually sit there. They certainly don't fire. Um, and maybe you just take them out and pop them into the center to fire them. I don't know, but I, I'm not gonna take this off because it's the only one there and, and I don't want it to get lost. Okay, so the wing section uh, mounts onto the bottom of the main body. It just uh, goes on the back there and just slides in. And there we have the um, model assembled. Let's just move that back box out the way. Um, and then we've got a bit of room to, um, to have a good look at the model itself. Okay, so here we are. So the wings tip up or tip down, uh, however you want to have them it's up to you or you can have them uh, straight out uh, again with the the big wings on you don't need the little wings so you can fold them away um, so overall now we're still looking at the same width about 36 centimeters across uh, we're still looking at the same length um, perhaps a little a tad longer actually with the wings on so we're looking at 21 centimeters uh, but now the height has gone to 10 centimeters so it's quite a big um, model and you say you can make it smaller by dropping the wings down um, and they, they can go however you want in flight and there's the don't forget there's the, the the bomb which goes into the center there and you've also got the the batch there um, yeah and it's made of durable plastic, looks good. The Terrorhawks logo is all over the place on the on the top wings. It's on the main body. Um, yeah, it's, it's on the, the wings just above the fuselage on both sides. Um, and the back's engines there, um, which are, look, well, they look, look like they're metal, but they're not, they're still plastic, but they're chromed plastic. Um, so that is really it really, there's not a lot else I can tell you about the model, other than that it looks and displays absolutely fantastically. It is one of those models that are very unusual and uh, very difficult to find. How well did they do in the day? Well, I don't think they've done very well at all, the, this, the Terra Hawks toy range. Um, it was very short lived. Uh, it was only produced by Bandai for, Bandai for a very short length of time. I don't know if that's because the TV series was only on for a short run um, or whether the toys um, just really didn't sell very well. Um, but, um, but yeah, there, there wasn't a, a great sales on these particular items. Uh, so the line was dropped very quickly. Now, as a result, obviously 40 years on, these items are now incredibly collectible. Um, and I'm guessing that's because there wasn't that many of them around. So many collectors are looking to have these and adding them to the collection. And they are incredibly difficult to find. This particular one, 
Um, doesn't look like it's had much use at all. Um, it is practically in mint condition. If it wasn't for the, the loss of the five missiles, I would say it's, it's pretty, pretty much brand new. Um, although there is some wear on the edges of the box and there's some creasing of the plastic window um, that covers the front of the box. Uh, but other than that, it's fantastic, absolutely immaculate. Um, and unfortunately, we only have the one. Uh, but this particular one is available to purchase on the Midas Touch website. And you can get to the Midas Touch website very simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight there where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of products which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short review. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon.